YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. All right, folks, we have a ton of Destiny 2 news to go over, and apologies for my voice. I am still trying to work out that cold. Um, it's going to be absolute insanity next week, as we have a ton of new content coming to Destiny 2. Well, we've got Festival of the Lost. We have a new dungeon hitting. We've got a new PvP game mode, and we have a new exotic quest for the exotic heavy machine gun called the Xenophage. And this thing's going to be a semi-automatic, heavy-hitting, heavy weapon uh, machine gun. So what is Festival of the Lost if you're new to Destiny 2? Or a lot of people coin it as Festival of the Cost, and it kind of will be that this time around a little bit because there will be some new things and some really cool things to buy from Eververse. So it's a Halloween event, and there will be a new activity that's free for all players to do called the Haunted Forest. Now, the Haunted Forest, in a nutshell, is the infinite forest on Mercury, except now it's all dark and Halloween-y and spooky and creepy and eerie, and you'll have different branches you clear, and you'll have 15 minutes to clear a number of branches, and at the end of it, well, you can get some rewards, and, well, we'll get into all that stuff. Um, you will get these masks that you can put on. You will have a helmet. You can apply the masks. There will be some really cool mods, and, uh, yeah, it's basically loot. You can get loot from this event. And uh, but let's just take a deep dive in here. I will link the full blog post in the description, especially for you new players who are new to Destiny 2 or playing Destiny 2 New Light. But this is for everybody. So speak with Eva to begin your journey. Eva Levante, she's going to be our vendor for this event. Speak with Eva to begin your journey and acquire a Masquerader helmet to participate. Earn chocolate strange coins from bounties and activities to purchase Festival of the Lost mask ornaments for your new helmet. Now, that doesn't mean purchase with silver, it means you'll purchase them with different things you'll get throughout playing Festival of the Lost. All Destiny 2 players can partake in the festivities, including New Light players, who need to be 770 power to begin. Back by popular demand, Candy makes its sweet return as a reward to be spent towards mystery grab bags and the Braytech Werewolf Legendary Auto Rifle. After acquiring the fully masterworked 950 power weapon, create your own monster with random rolls. Now, you should be very excited about this Braytech Werewolf, because right now, there are no 450 50 round per minute auto rifles within Shadow Keep or Season of the Undying. So I believe this will be the first one. Now, the Braytech Winter Wolf was the original version of this weapon, and it came from Anna Bray over on Mars with the Warmind DLC. And it came with Zen Moment, and it came with High Impact Reserves. I actually never got it. Well, it looks like we'll be able to get it. We'll get a fully masterworked version. Uh, we can't see it in the database just yet, so we don't know what the perks are going to be on the masterworked version of the Braytech Werewolf. But I'm excited because I'm going to keep grinding so I can get a random rolled, well, hopefully random god rolled, version of the werewolf and yes i am using breakneck in the raid do not at me i find it quite effective and despite everyone saying it got neutered it still does fine for me no i don't use it all the time but when i'm using an auto rifle that's 450 rounds per minute to me it still gets the job done so when you're in the actual uh, haunted forest it says while the festival is underway guardians are needed to return once more to the haunted forest and defeat fiends ghouls and terrors that lie within you'll have 15 minutes to make it as far as you can go, but beware of what waits you at the end. Now, there's going to be two versions of the Haunted Forest. The Haunted Forest that will have matchmaking and the Firewalled Haunted Forest that will have matchmaking turned off. Now, in terms of rewards from Eva Levante, you've got your candy and you've got your chocolate strange coins. There will be weekly and also daily bounties, which can give you XP, glimmer, and also chocolate strange coins. Uh, then you could use those to buy masks. And we have the hidden swarm mask, goblin, mithrax, the opulent callus mask, and also the drifter mask. You will need a masquerader's helmet to apply these ornaments, and they will have an arc, solar, and void one for you. There is an epic mystery grab bag and a mystery grab bag bag not sure what's in those just yet but then also there's a few mods and these mods are insane but the problem is they only work within the haunted forest and when I read you them you'd be like wow I wish they worked elsewhere so the first one is higher purpose significant damage resistance while airborne significantly increases damage to all enemies increases the drop chance of heavy ammo on a kill then we have a vampiric touch or is that a vampiric touch I butcher everything significantly increases damage to challenging enemies, precision kills trigger health regeneration, increases the drop chance of heavy ammo on a kill, and lastly we have energetic assassin. Precision kills grant grenade and melee 
energy significantly increases damage to terrors, increases the drop chance of heavy ammo on a kill, and yeah, these mods are epic, but yeah, they'd, they'd be pretty broken if they were not just outside of the haunted forest. And then lastly, there will be a number of Festival of the Lost Triumphs that you can acquire, like Days of the Dead, The Frightening Power, Strange Times, Bountiful, Brilliant Smile, Still Not Scared, Master of Disguise, Sweet Tooth, Sweet Surprise, and then the final one is called Redacted, meaning we don't know what it is. But let me know what you think and if you will be participating in the Festival of the Lost, because like I said earlier, well, we gotta go through the This Week at Bungie. Why? Because we're gonna learn about a new PvP game mode, uh, an exotic quest. Well, we're not really gonna learn much about it because we just get a tease about it. But also, uh, the dungeon. The dungeon's gonna be hitting next week. And I'll be streaming right here live on YouTube all day on Tuesday, and I don't even know where to start. Do I start with Festival of the Lost? Do I start with the exotic quest? Do I start with the dungeon? Actually, I know what I do. I start with the chat. And as always, this is your channel. This is your stream. You guys in chat will tell me what you want me to do. So let's head into the This Week at Bungie. So a new dungeon is also opening up to willing fire teams or brave guardians who want to tackle it alone. Speak with Eris. She knows the way. The Crucible is about to gain some momentum as well, changing the way guardians meet in glorious combat. Earlier this week, Banshee sent you on a season pass owner's quest for the Leviathan's Breath Exotic Bow, and sound off in the comment section. Do you guys like it? I saw my sub feed was loaded with videos. Most insane OP exotic. And then a whole bunch were saying, is it the worst exotic? And I don't know. I didn't really use it that much. I used it a little bit, but I am too busy doing Garden of Salvation. I can't believe how obsessed I am with this raid. It's the most fun I've ever had in a raid within Destiny 2. Now, granted, granted, the boss can be a real pain, but uh, playing with channel members and also good friends, um, we're building some well-oiled machine. And it's it's definitely not that type of raid where it's forgiving if uh, you have one or two people that tend to die a lot, but man, it is fun. Continuing along with the This Week at Bungie, they say on top of all of that, meaning what we discussed, uh, there's another exotic quest going live for Shadowkeep owners. You may have seen pictures of a replica we had made of the quote-unquote bug gun. Uh, from past events, because remember, this weapon's going to be powered by some sort of insectoid or insect. It's time for you to go out and claim the Xenophage as your own. Now, there's a big tease here. Check this out. They have a question for you. Where will your path take you first? There will be many options for you to consider, depending on how you like to play the most. And that's all they say. So I have a feeling, guys, that's a tease right there. More than likely, this is going to be a quest that will drop randomly out and about. If you play a lot of Gambit, you probably can get it from Gambit. You play a lot of Crucible, it could probably drop from Crucible. If you're raiding like me on Tuesday, well, I won't be raiding on Tuesday. I'll be trying to do the dungeon. <laughs> Playing the dungeon, it might drop from the dungeon. We'll have to see. Speculate. What do you guys think in the comment section? Where will we get it from? Now, if you're familiar with the classic Halo game SWAT, uh, you might be familiar with what this new game mode is going to sound like uh, called Momentum Control. So let me read you this from Bungie. While Mayhem will put the focus on supers, Momentum Control will shift your focus to gunplay. This is a fast-paced, hair-on-fire experience where the lethality of all weapons has been cranked to 11. You're incentivized to be aggressive as you defeat other Guardians to earn charged melees, grenades, and supers. Here's a quick rundown of what to expect. First off, we have instant respawn time. So out of the fight, Bungie says, no problem, drop right back in immediately. So you die you will spawn right back in no waiting I like that next up weapon damage will be increased so higher combat lethality everything in your arsenal is now a contender that's huge guys because that probably means some low tier weapons are gonna do some well do some amazing work in this particular mode I know I have a plethora of weapons I like in PvE, but I don't use them in PvP so much because they're just not good, or at least I'm, I'm not good with them. But uh, this sounds really interesting, guys. Ability regen requires effort. Defeat enemy players to charge your melee grenade and also your super. There's going to be no tracker, so you're going to be able to sneak around your enemies for some sweet flanks. That kind of reminds me of hardcore Call of Duty, actually. Um, amped control. So it's going to be controls, obviously. Well, I mean, it's going to be like control. You're going to have to capture zones. Zones will capture faster and also grant more bonus points per kill. Uh, supercharged supers, they say. Increased damage resistance in super means you become that 1,000 pound gorilla. But be careful 
because heavy weapons will put you down quickly. And then lastly, the heaviest of ammo. Increased heavy ammo respawn rate and also drop amounts. I don't know how I feel about that last one. You let me know in the comments section. Bungie continues with, many of us who have been playtesting this have compared it to the classic Halo custom game SWAT. But for Destiny, we've done a lot of trying out different weapons and seeing how they behaved in this heavily modified sandbox of a mode. Momentum will be the featured 6v6 rotating playlist during Festival of the Lost and we'll be monitoring the community Community's response to see when we want to bring it back. Now they say momentum control, which means they more than likely can do momentum other game modes, momentum uh, clash, momentum supremacy, and so forth. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. So let me know what you think of all this. And man, there's so much to do. I'm gonna upload this, and we're gonna do some raiding tonight with uh, some channel members over there on my channel member Discord. And if you want to become a channel member, click the link in the description or um, join on screen. Uh, we've got an awesome community over on Discord. I love hanging out with you guys and also playing with some of you guys on PC. That's it guys. Let me hashtag made it to the end. If you did make it to the end and do me a favor, drop a like on this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. Usually know it's on YouTube and that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir. And actually I got that with Outlaw and Kill Clip on another run. See you guys.